Okay, so this video is just going to be how to connect your um, Halarctus trail camera to the app. I'm using an iPhone here, but it'll be the same on Android as well. So I've opened the Wildlife Cam app. You can get the QR code um, for this app on the uh, camera itself um, as well. Um, and then I'm going to, for the first time, you'll get this screen and I'm going to pl press plus camera. The camera is turned into setup mode at the moment. So I can connect. So I can already see the device. It's this one here. Obviously, if you had a lot of them, you'll see other ones. I'm going to press plus. And there's green. It's gone green on the Bluetooth, which means the Bluetooth is connected and the camera itself has started flashing red and it just beeped. So now once it's connected via the Bluetooth, it's then going to switch its local Wi-Fi network on. Remember, this is completely separate to your home Wi-Fi. It's a network that the camera itself puts out. So my phone's prompting me to join this 4K Wi-Fi cam network. So if I press join, it should take a few seconds and then this Wi-Fi symbol should go green and we should get a view from the camera itself. So it's gone green, so I'm just going to cover the lens so you don't see the view, but you can see there's my fingers on the view. And then here is all the settings of the camera. You can see the battery percentage, the, um, the footage, sorry, the, uh, the quality of the footage that it's currently set to. You can set it to photo mode or video mode. Uh, you can check the gallery of the camera by pressing this button and download videos and photos. You can press this shutter button so that will take either a photo or a video depending on what it's set to at that time. So if you just want to take a little shot, you can do so. And you can also tap this settings to go on to all the settings as well. So you can go, okay, well, I actually want 4K. It says saved. Um, and uh, you can change everything you want to basically from here. Um, you can change the time of periods and all this kind of stuff. Um, the Wi-Fi automatically shuts itself off. You can change this it's after one, two or three minutes. Two minutes is the default. Um, so if you d forget to disconnect, it will basically disconnect itself and therefore not destroy its battery overnight whilst it waits for you to connect to it as well. Um, when you're done, you can click exit. And then this actually closes the app entirely. So if you want to go back, you can have a look on the app. And instead of having to reconnect all over like I just did, in, in this case now, your camera is there. You can also change the name. So if you want to call this, you know, Barn Owl Camera, Hedgehog Feeder Camera, you know, Tiger Camera 1, you can do so. Um, you can also delete the camera off here if you need to do so. And if you want to add another one, you can use this plus button here too. So if I want to connect again, I'm just going to tap this. You can see the Bluetooth, the camera's beeped. And then I join a Wi-Fi network. And again, it just takes a few moments. You can see the Wi-Fi symbol's gone green now. And this is connected and I'm back in. If you do find that it takes too long to get a connection or it doesn't actually get a connection or it fails to start the Wi-Fi or anything like that, it probably means that you're just too far away from the camera itself. Um, the, the distance of the Wi-Fi without kind of any boundaries or obstacles will generally be about 25 to 30 feet. Um, you'll have to be closer if there's a big massive hedge between you and the camera, for example, or uh, a huge wall. Um, these kind of kind of natural boundaries and, and man-made boundaries. So just bear that in mind. But generally, the range is pretty good. Uh, you should see, yeah, 25 to 30 feet. And that's it. That's how you connect your camera to the Wildlife Cam app.